Hi everybody, it's Miss Jensen, obviously. I'm in a little bit different location, which I will show you a little bit more of in just a minute. Um, anyway, uh, it is Monday morning, and this is the last week of school. All we are doing is signing in for attendance the next couple days, and then after that, it's, I mean, besides that, it's just cleaning up anything that you wanna do. So taking tests, that you want to retake or you haven't taken in the first place, um, doing assignments, etc. Okay, so please let me know if there's anything that I can help you with there. Um, my my phone number is 612-430-2741 and my email is lisa underscore jensen at you know it ardale.org or you can message me on Schoology. So I just have to tell you a little bit about this weekend. Um, so I live in the third precinct, South Minneapolis, where everything started this week. So it started on Tuesday morning when we woke up and we found out about the, the killing of George Floyd. And then from there, it escalated into um, stores being looted, burned. So. The center of that is about four minutes from my house. Um, I just walked down in my flip-flops. This is my lo local gas station, so I'm just gonna show you. Um, of course, you know me, I'm not very good with technology, but um, this is it. So that was burned down a couple days ago. Um, Walgreens across the street was looted. There's stores that are boarded up here. Um, and a lot of us in residential areas, we've organized kind of watch parties for people that have nothing to do with actual protesting that are uh, right now that are trying to kind of scare people in the city. Some of them supposedly are from out of town. Uh, anyway, it's been a little bit crazy. Um, but I just want to tell you about this and also tell you how close to home this whole thing is for everybody. Um, so it started, of course, with, on Tuesday morning with the absolutely wrong, I don't think there's any one of us that doesn't think it is absolutely wrong, the uh, killing of George Floyd by a Minneapolis police officer that um, was rooted out of my, my uh, third pre precinct building up here, uh, plus the other three officers. Uh, so the 17-year-old, your age that videotaped the whole thing. Maybe nobody would have known about that unless she had taped that entire um, incident. Obviously that became viral um, and now the whole world uh, knows about it. And it's good that the whole world knows about it. Uh, but that 17 year old girl, I was told by a, one of you a student, Armstrong student, uh, she was a good friend, or she is a good friend of yours. She also was a student that uh, went to the middle school where my daughter now goes. So this is super close to home. This video that she took is what they can use to prosecute this police officer. It's also what everybody around the country has seen, everybody around the world. And um, it's, it's uh, just a, kind of a, life-changing experience for all of you, all of us. So I just wanted to share that with you because this is a huge life-altering event for our city, the whole Twin City area, the whole state of Minnesota, and it's really close to home for all of you. So um, anyway, um, take care, everybody. Um, if you need anything from me, please let me know, and I will... Uh, Send, do a send off in a few days again as well, okay? Be well.